So I'll make a little video real quick. Yeah. Out moving some cows that we had just gathered up and we're starting our pre-weaning vaccination. So uh, that's what we're starting to do. We've done it before. Let me get my um, done it before, and it, I mean it's a big help. You know, for a while when we kind of first started doing all the vaccines, we would do when we branded, and now we we also do uh, about you're supposed to do it like two or three weeks before you wean. And, uh, you know, a lot of these cattle will be that way. Most of them are a month, maybe a month and a half. Not, probably not a month and a half. Some might be uh, before we wean them. But we're going back in and, and doing our booster round. Uh, typically, we run Bova Shield Gold uh, 5. And, or Bova Shield Gold 5 with one shot in it. Uh, this, that's what we ran last year. This year, we're doing Pyramid five pre-spawns um that's what we're doing doing this year uh i've kind of occasionally switch it up one year i'll do one one year i'll do the other trying to see kind of what really fits our program better we've always we've been really really big on the uh bow shield it's, it is a great product um this year at branding though i decided to go with the uh pre-spawns because it is not as hot bova shield is a very very hot vaccine and uh, we were so the problem we ran into is we were so hot and dry this year uh during branding that uh when you give them a vaccine that that is that hot uh sometimes you can get some really you can get some really sick calves um and you know that's just just because of where we were with mother nature we went with uh uh, pyramid five and i'm not saying pyramid five is not a, a good vaccine it is a good vaccine but it is just not as hot of a vaccine so we we went that route and thought about going to bova shield um one shot for our booster but we just went ahead and stayed with the the pyramid family um i just want to try it kind of see what our i know what our kids did last year i kind of want to see our kids do this year We'll be doing the same thing. We'll be pulling the calves in, the pins, for a couple days uh, just for just to manage it better. And then they'll go back out into a grass pasture and be fed out there. Um, get a lot less sickness that way. So, but yeah, these we're moving these calves and cows uh, just across the road into a little, little trap pasture we have. We've had some good grass in there and uh, haven't been able to utilize it for a while because the fences are just terrible shape. We went through, fixed them up, good grass. So we're gonna move them across the road. And probably until we pull them and wean them, which, you know, it's uh, 12th of March, 14th of March, something like, or not March, September. So we'll be, uh, you know, probably the next 30, 45 days, these calves will be uh, weaned. We'll be pulling them out to wean them. So, got our cake pickup, and they're not, they've been kind of, it got cold last week, and so all the cows thought they were ready to be caked, and uh, we kind of trail the cows with that. This year, they haven't. Today, it's gotten hot, and there's enough green grass. They, they saw it and got excited, and then they just didn't care anymore. Uh, so, my dad's in the side by side, he had my daughter with him. So, yeah, then uh, got the wife over there filming me, taking a picture, doing something. And, uh, yeah, but so we are just now, this is the first pasture we're starting with. And uh, in the next two weeks, we will be uh, doing a lot of vaccinating. Uh, just it's that time of year, you know, it's this year has gotten away from us. And we've been dry all summer, terribly dry, you know. Uh, the, like the pasture I'm in now and the south side of the place has got decent grass on it. It, it really does. It caught some rains. But around my house, it's, it's totally different. It's not even green. The grass, there's no grass. The grass is short. It's like, 
it's like this tall in this prairie dog town here. There's just nothing really to it. So, um, you can, I don't know if you saw that line. I'll find you another one right here. So you can kind of see this little line through the grass here maybe. Um, that is my prairie dog machine. Where I came out here and uh, doctored these prairie dogs and just did a fantastic raid on them. I mean, we had a, a really, really good, good kill on them. Very good kill. So we'll kind of share that a little bit more with you guys, kind of show you how I modified it to work better for that application. It's just a gopher machine, but uh, you can't trench it in because then it, uh, they just won't go for it. But anyways, that's what's going on here. We're gonna move them across the road. So I probably better get off my damn phone so people don't just look at me like an idiot. They're not doing my job. So we'll catch you on the next one.